Hello everyone, welcome to my first art tutorial. In this video, I would like to show you several useful features in Adobe Illustrator. Each feature has been attached one detailed example for explanation. After introducing these features, we will have a look at how to use these basic features to draw one simple image. These skills can help you easy to draw many images by using Adobe Illustrator. I can't deny that there are thousands of ways to draw one image. I just offer one simple method which everyone can easily learn from it. Okay, let's start it. Before we start drawing an image in Adobe Illustrator, let's introduce some tools in the interface. First, Selection Tool. The Selection Tool lets you select entire objects or groups in the Adobe Illustrator. You can simply drag the entire weapon after you click it. All the AI documents you can simply download it by the description below. Because I grouped all parts together before, when I ungroup the weapon and click the empty place, I can easily select each part of the weapon such like this. Also, any times you can press Command Z or Ctrl Z to undo your previous command. Select all parts and press Command G or Ctrl G can help you easily to select the entire object by using one click. The second feature is the Direct Selection tool. Think of the direct selection tool as allowing me to directly manipulate a part of that object. So, if I go to my direct selection tools, it will auto highlight any of the points that make this object. You will notice that there are several blue rectangular points located on my object. Here, if you try to select the entire object and drag it, it looks like using selection tool and nothing happens. The correct step should click on one of these points. The other points are white. The selected point is blue, that means I can now reshape this object by grabbing the point and directly manipulating them. That's why it's called Direct Selection Tool, because you can directly manipulate any of the points or paths. Before we talk about the third features, let's use one minute to explain what this is. The left rectangular displays the fill color of your selected object. The right rectangular can show the stroke color of this object. They are overlapped with each other and you can toggle between them to choose which parts do you want to change their color. For example, if you want to create one dark blue rectangular with the orange outline, you can choose your fill color to dark blue color, and the stroke color orange. Then, press the rectangular button to create one. In order to see clearly, you can open the stroke panel on your right, or open the window and select the stroke to enlarge. Adobe Illustrator allows you press Shift X or click the toggle button back and forth between these two to change whichever one you want. Okay, let's move to our pen tool. In order to easy to understand, I have drawn one heart shaped on my blackboard. Decreasing the opacity and locking this image lets you not able to select it and avoid some unnecessary mistake. If you want to unlock this image later, hold Command Alt and 2. Choose to the pen tool and change the stroke color black and the transparent fill color. You can adjust the stroke width to make your easy to check. Then click the points for the star. Now this time I'm going to click and hold as I drag my cursor. You can see I have these two handles I can rotate on my point. The way I position these handles will determine the angle and the shape of my curve. Again, if I hold shift, I will be able to drag these handles in a perfect vertical or horizontal line. Essentially, you want to create curves with as little points as possible. This will generate translate in smooth-looking curves. 
This way you can get clean curves, but also very flexible and easy to edit illustration when it's come to tweaks or feedback later. Don't worry too much on getting everything perfect at the first time. You can always come back and refine the position of your points and your hands after finishing the line. Use the handles to get the curves right. Pentel is one of the most powerful drawing tools in Illustrator. With it, you can create and edit anchor points and paths. Try to practice by using Pentel several times. It needs some experience and understanding. If your Pathfinder panel is not displayed on your right, click the window on the top and select the Pathfinder panel. I will simply introduce the first three methods first. In this tutorial, I will only use the exclude methods to manipulate paths later. The first button can combine the paths of two shapes together and create one single path out of the two. The second button can subtract the top shape from the bottom shape. The shape doing the subtracting must be top. The third Pathfinder feature is the ability to intersect shapes. What this means is overlapping two shapes and getting rid of everything that is not overlapped. Our fourth feature is our important tool in this tutorial. Instead of getting rid of everything that is not overlapping, it gets rid of everything that is. Illustrator excludes any shapes areas that were overlapping at all. You can see our simple shape has been excluded to one perfect face. If your image is complex, exclude methods can save your time. Here are some tips for your learning. I did not cover the bottom row of buttons in the Pathfinder palette because it will get extremely confusing. Essentially, the bottom row buttons performs a number of combination of the top buttons. I encourage you to explore the Pathfinder for a few minutes on your own. It just may make your life a little bit easier. After understanding these features, let's create one new document. In here, we can set the camera size and leave all other settings as is. Don't worry too much about the camera size, we can adjust later. Then, drag one image to your document. You can screenshot one of your favorite image or photo the image you have created. It. Now, we are going to draw this image now. First, decreasing the opacity lets you easy to see the line during creation. Also, make sure to lock this image so that you will avoid some unnecessary mistakes. Here are some shortcuts for us. Hold Command and the mouse schools can horizontal move our canvas. Hold Alt and the mouse schools can zoom in and zoom out. Zoom in and zoom out by shortcuts can save your bunch of time during creation. If you want to learn more shortcuts in Adobe Illustrator, I have attached the links in the description below. First, let's use pen tool to draw the outline of our character. By the way, in this tutorial, I will not use the layer feature. The first reason is our image is very simple. Layers are good at solving many complex images. The second reason is that we can choose the arrange feature to solve these problems. We will talk about later.
After excluding all shapes, we can set our black frame to the top of this layer. Hold Command Shift and Square Brackets or Object Arrange to Front to set our frame to the top position of the screen. For better understanding, I have inserted another example of Arrange Futures. Now you can see that there are three shapes stay on the canvas. On the top position is the blue triangle. The middle order is the yellow one. The red rectangular stays on the button. We are going to use these four selections to change their order. First, select the object you want to move. Here we select the bottom one, red rectangular, and click the bring to front selection. Our red rectangular moves the object in front of all the others in its layer. Then select the red rectangular to bring forward. Our red rectangular would move an object by one object to the front. We can record the process on the cameras. For another two methods, this is the same routine, so you can try to select the blue triangle to test. The top blue triangle will be located to the bottom position by pressing send to bank. If you have understand this concept, let's bank to our character. Then, we are going to draw some empty places to yellow color. You can select all yellow parts to the bank of the black frame color. Hold Command Shift and the left square brackets or click Object Arrange to the bank which was overlapping with each other. Remember, always keeps the black outline frame to the top is one of the convenient way to arrange different colors in the same layer. Then, using the same way to paint the gray color as well. After that, we are going to give our character some white lights on his right. Remember our black frame is the top color in this image. Yellow and green part is the bottom of the image. Our white color should enter the black frame color. It seems a little complex, but if you try, you will figure out what I said. I highly recommend you to choose the shortcuts to adjust their order. In here, we draw the white color and only press command left square brackets to let it under the black frame. After finishing this image, export this image as PNG format and drag this image inside the Unity.
you will notice that we have used the basic Adobe Illustrator features to build one image now. What a great skill! As I said, this is my first art tutorial. I'm looking forward to publish another very useful Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop features regularly, which helps you easy to control this popular software. If you want to learn more about how to create images or even animations, leave the comments and let me know. I really hope these channels can help us improve lots. All resources such as the original AI documents, screenshots can be downloaded by my GitHub. The text version of this tutorial has been shared in my Evernote website. Later, I'm going to publish several speed art videos to my channel for review these skills. In the next episode, I will be back to the Unity to finish our another topic, Countdown Clock. If you want to review the Countdown Timer in my previous video, you can visit my channel and find it. All resources now are on my GitHub, so feel free to go ahead and check them out for yourself. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you like it, hope to smash the likes and the subscribe button. Alright, see you in the next time.